Hello, and welcome to another video presentation of Apex SQL Doc. In this video, we will show you how to document graphical dependency diagrams and entity relationship diagrams, aka data model diagrams. Apex SQL Doc can generate various documentation in Word, HTML, PDF, or CHM formats, and has the options to fully customize the process of documentation with custom texts, styles, and graphics. The first step will be to add a database. To select a database, click the Add Database button. Once that is clicked, a login menu will appear. Select the SQL Server where the database is located and the authentication type which will be used to connect to that server. Once this is done, click Connect. When the connection is established, a list of connected databases will be displayed. Now, select the desired databases from the Database section the next part of the process is the selection of options. Let's navigate to the Database Options tab. In order to document data model diagrams, just scroll down to the bottom and find the Data Model Diagrams option. Check it and let's move on to the next step. To include the graphical dependency diagrams, please note that you must first select the Dependency, Parent and Children, Lists, Tables option. Please be aware that selecting this option can significantly slow the documentation process. Then, select the Explicitly Parse Database for Improved Dependency Accuracy option and check the Graphical Dependencies option in the Dependency Options section. Besides having the ability to include visual dependencies diagrams in your SQL Server documentation, Apex SQL Doc also allows you to set up visual dependencies diagram layout and types which relationships are included, and the layout of the generated diagram and drill down depth of your dependencies can be controlled. The Dependency Type option controls which relationships are included in the generated diagrams. Children objects depend directly on the specified object. Selecting the Children Only option, diagrams will show only the object and its children. Parents and the second generation descendants will not be included. Descendant objects indirectly depend on the specified object via other objects. Selecting the Descendants option, diagrams will show the object and all descendants, including children and grandchildren. A parent object is an object the specified one depends on. Selecting the Parents and Children Only option, parents' diagrams will show the object plus its parents and children. Descendants will not be shown. When selecting the Parents and Descendants option, diagrams will show all dependencies for the specified object, including parents, children, and descendants. The Dependency Layout option controls how Apex SQL Doc will organize the generated dependency diagrams in your SQL Server documentation. Choosing the Circular option will result in all related objects being shown in a circle around the object that they are related to. Choosing the Force Directed option places the most frequently used objects nearer to the center of the diagram, with the least frequently used objects nearer to the outside of the diagram. The hierarchical options organizes objects based on the generation, so the parents are at the top of the diagram, the descendants are at the bottom, and all the objects from the same generation are in the same horizontal row. The orthogonal option attempts to organize the objects in the diagrams in the way that they are at right angles to each other. Visualization is ideal for quick analysis of existing dependencies, especially when, for example, there is a need to explore the model with multiple layers of views or tables. With that in mind, Apex SQL Doc offers a very useful and clear visualization of various objects and how they are interconnected as part of a SQL Server documentation. When you have set up all necessary options for documenting graphical dependencies and data model diagrams, Click the Generate button and wait for the documentation process to be completed. Once the documentation is complete, let's open it and look at where the diagrams are saved. In this example, the documentation is generated in the CHM format. To find the documented data model diagrams, select a table and scroll down in the right preview window to the Data Models section and click the underlined hyperlink. Apex SQL Doc uses a hierarchical layout for arranging the diagram elements automatically, so the user can view the tables and relationships the best way possible. 
Basic information for each database table are displayed, like names of table columns, data types, nullability of column values, foreign keys, primary keys, etc. Data model diagrams in Apex SQL Doc use established entity relationship notation to represent different types and cardinality of the table relationships. Every graphical representation of table relationships has a label on top of it displaying the name of that relationship in the database. Now, let's see where the visual dependency diagrams are generated. Dependency diagrams are saved as an integral part of the output document. You can view them by navigating to the specific object in the output document and scrolling down through the object information to the graphical dependencies part. You will have a link to the graphical dependencies preview for the selected object. Here, you can see the generated graphical dependency diagrams with the setting predefined earlier. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.